just so we're crystal clear, any survival tips that you see on this episode were merely for entertainment purposes only. So please, if you're ever in a situation, do not listen. What's up, YouTube? All right, so today I'm going trail running or trail hiking or whatever have you want to say it with my right-hand man, Cho. <clears throat> so he's looked up some very popular places in Arkansas uh, for nature runs or hikes or and we're going to see two of them today they're located in some place called Ponca Arkansas and obviously one of them has the most photographed rock in Arkansas who figured that out but before we do that of course we got to stop for food and what better place to get food than the Arkansas Heart Hospital Heart healthy food who would have thought we'll be coming here for lunch? But obviously, according to my guy, they have ramen on Mondays. And it's a pretty big deal. I said parking is crazy on ramen days. And as you can see, parking is crazy. Hope is worth it. I only have one bowl. And that's it. The cilantro, lemon, pineapple, chicken, cashews and the lemonade and he got a green tea so we're back in the car lunch was actually good um, didn't think I would like it but I did had enough spice to it temperature was just right going north um, and now we're on the road about to head to Ponca Arkansas how far away is it? two, two and a half two and a half hours so I know I'm about to get a nap because I'm pretty full so I'll see y'all when we get there Stopped at a Dollar General here. I'm not sure where we are. It's not quite there yet. Picked up a couple of snacks, you know, just in case you never know. Um, got some Sweet Baby Ray's beef jerky. I love me some beef jerky. Uh, this probably won't make it to the, uh, to the mountain. Then I got me a little tuna fish kit. I'm pretty sure I'll take this one up there with me. And some sinus headache medicine because I'm dealing with that right now. Yeah, and some water in the back. So hopefully nothing goes wrong. Hopefully I just need a couple of little snacks, but it's supposed to be like a three to four hour hike. So we'll see. The journey continues. We are currently passing through a town called Ozone. It's the Ozark region. Uh, it's a whole bunch of nothing. It was a um, pretty scenic area that we went through, but I couldn't find a good spot to pull over to show you guys. Uh, hopefully we'll come back with enough light in the day because there were areas you could pull over on the opposite side of the road But all I'm seeing out here is a lot of this stuff And cows see more cows My buddy just told me if it's a black cow, it's black Angus beef <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing. He just explained out it to me. I honestly thought that though I was like if the cows black is it black Angus. I didn't know but he broke it all down to me Still got a little ways to go, but we're almost there. I hope it's worth it. Had to stop to stretch our legs, take a break, and enjoy that view. Isn't that nice? And it's not even summertime yet, so imagine what it looks like when it's all flush and green. But that's still nice. Even a little pond over there with a couple little duckies in it that you can't really see. Ah, one of the few great things about Arkansas. Finally here. Looks like it's only one other, maybe two other people on the trail because there's two vehicles here. So if we get lost, we're definitely dead. It's six miles total, three miles downhill, three miles uphill on the way back. Got my food, got my hoodie because it's a little cool out here. And now, we're about to go hike the Center Point Trailhead. There it goes. I am here. Haven't been on the trail long. We're going to clock it because it's supposed to take how long? Four hours? Four, hours. Four to five hours. We're, we're not going to do that because we're the only ones out here. It's super quiet. We're far away from everything. Sun Don't have out. service. Sun goes down. We got two packs of uh, tuna fish and one and a half bags of beef jerky, three bottles of water. <sighs> so, the trail is like this little rocky stuff for a couple of miles. Like this. 
for about two miles. We're supposed to get to this big rock face, which is like the highlight of the whole trail. But my man didn't do his research. He doesn't know the turnaround point. And if we keep going, obviously we can get to this waterfall with the trail. It's supposed to go on for miles and miles and miles. So we're close to a mile in. We came across, like we first heard all the snapping noise, like these people like howling, ooh, you know, just enjoying nature. As we get closer, it sounds like they chanting or something. So we try to like stop and listen. But we was like, F that. So we walk on by. And now it sounds like they're coming behind us. So if all of a sudden I just strike out to a full sprint. We are close to KKK country. Yeah. Down the street. Yeah, we actually are. So you know. I don't know, it was kind of creepy. At first I was ignoring it, but then after I started hearing about it, you can still hear them. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get out of here before dark. We got to. So, no got to a campsite. Ha, ah, take a little small break. Okay, so Cho, there's a trail that goes that way. We're gonna take that trail. We just saw these massive pigs out here, man. Kind of made me nervous because we don't have any, well, wild hogs. So, we run into those. We're SOL. And now, your How to Survive Nature tip with Michael Proctor. So if you find yourself lost in the woods, find your tree with some moss on it. Moss always points to the North Star. Happy hiking. Check out these rocks right here behind me. Pretty cool. So I guess that's a clear indicator that we're getting close to the end point, which I'm personally happy about because it's been all downhill. And this bag bouncing up and down on my back is making the top of my butt itch. <sighs> but I'm glad I came. I'm glad I came little campsites you can camp up under the rocks I guess that's your back door escape exit in case something comes in through the front I don't know what that is a little fire pit and you would have a view of all of that that looks cool doesn't it I personally could not sleep here it have to be a very dire situation for me to be up here sleep so I just thought it was cool So we've hiked for about, oh, about two hours, just almost lost my water. Hiked for about two hours and it was well worth it. We're here now. And we're about to have lunch up under this great rock face, cliff, whatever it is. Got my tuna pack and my water. And let me tell you, for a guy who's not really a nature guy, this was worth it. Beautiful. And I'm about to have lunch here. That guy over there is a little insane. You see him in the green right there? I wouldn't do that. But more power to him. Time to eat and head back before we lose our sunlight. I'm finally home, showered, and relaxed. Man, that was a long day, but it was very much worth it. Like I said, I'm not an outdoors hiking type guy, but the view made it all worth it. We tried to go to the other trail. Uh, I know the title says the most photographed rock in uh, Arkansas. That trail is more of a family trail. It was about an hour long trail. We we're going to try to hit that one after we did Goat's Trail. That's the name of the one that you guys saw. But the problem was that it started getting dark and we saw wild boars and all kind of stuff out there. So we didn't want to risk that. So we got about 10 minutes into the trail and we decided to bail. So next time we'll go down there and we'll 
view the most photographed rock in Arkansas, and then we'll also canoe. But today was a great day. It was well worth it. Now I'm about to get some R&R. &R. Later. All right, so if you ever find yourself stranded out in Mother Nature's backyard, and you're dying of thirst, and you got a little bit of water left, I bet you're probably wondering, hmm, should I ration this out and make it last? Wrong. You should drink it now, because you're thirsty now. Who cares about later? You might not even be here. <laughs>